Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about my favorite food, kimchi, the Korean superfood. Okay, so let's get right into some of the facts. It's a traditional Korean side dish made from fermented vegetables, and there are over 180 varieties out there. Okay. Now, it was documented sometime around 57 BC uh, about kimchi in, in Korea. However, it probably existed prior to that. And then there are so many different varieties, but I listed a few that are very popular. One is pechu kimchi, which is made of Napa cabbage. That's the one that most people are familiar with. There is pek kimchi, which is white, so they don't use the red pepper flakes. And then you have gakdugi, which is the cubed radish. You have chonggak kimchi, which is ponytail radish, basically radish with a long uh, leafy um, end to it. You have oisobigi, which is made of cucumbers. And then you have uh, nabak kimchi, which is red water. And tongchimi is radish water, and it's more clear. Basically, you can take any type of vegetable and make it into kimchi, right? There are other ingredients that go into uh, making kimchi and the fermentation process. So they use daikon radish, Korean pear, Korean red pepper flakes, scallions, garlic, ginger, onions. You can use fermented shrimp or other type of fermented seafood. And sometimes they'll use rice flour in some of them uh, to get a little bit of a texture. So there are different ways to make kimchi. Um, I've had the benefit of being exposed to kimchi probably in my mother's womb because she had kimchi growing up and as an adult. Therefore, I benefited from her gut flora uh, when I was born and then benefited from kimchi um, throughout my lifetime. Right? So I've had that benefit. So let's go ahead and look at this. As lactofermentation breaks down sugars to lactic acid, right? Basically, the lactic acid is what gives you that sour taste of kimchi, okay? It takes about two to seven days to ferment at room temperature. So you can, uh, let's say, make kimchi at home, and you can taste the kimchi to get the right flavor or texture or sourness to it before you put it into the refrigerator. Um, so sometimes at higher temperatures where it's kind of warm out, it can ferment a little bit faster. Uh, or if you can put it in the refrigerator earlier on, it will ferment slower. All right. Why doesn't pathogenic bacteria grow in kimchi? One, it's the pH. The lactic acid decreases the pH. Therefore, uh, bacteria has uh, a pathogenic bacteria has a hard time growing in there. You have also salt and pepper, uh, red pepper flakes in there which inhibits the bacterial overgrowth. The strong odor, right? Where does that come from? It's the sulfur compounds from garlic and ginger, right? So you have this benefit of kimchi and fermentation, but it has a very strong odor because of the sulfur. That benefit of that is that it impacts the liver. Sulfur is very good for liver detoxification, so therefore it has a benefit to that smell that you have. So I remember growing up as a kid, uh, I would invite some friends over and I would open up that refrigerator and my friends would smell that kimchi and they're like, oh my goodness, what is that, right? And I was a little embarrassed probably growing up uh, you know, when a friend said that, but realizing later on that there's so many benefits to kimchi and how it improves our health, uh, the embarrassment goes away, right? So benefits. Obesity, weight loss, right? The reason is it's very low in calories, it's very nutrient dense, and it supports gut health. There's a lot of lactobacilli uh, probiotics in there, therefore it helps gut flora and overall uh, gut health. High in ABC, which is beta carotene, vitamin Bs, uh, uh, vitamin C. It has a lot of minerals, amino acids, calcium, vitamin K, uh, iron as well as antioxidant properties to kimchi. Number three, it has a lot of cruciferous vegetables, increase in capsaicin, which will help also with pain, allicin, allicin which is from garlic, flavonoids, and here's one glucosinolates, 
which is anti-cancer, right? So there's a lot of benefits to this. Improved digestion, there's a lot of lactobacilli, a lot of fiber, and good fiber will also increase butyrate production, which is a fuel for the colonocytes. Also has anti-aging properties because of the high anti-inflammatory effects, antioxidant effects, as well, as well as high flavonoids. Also, it boosts, it boosts the immune system, right? Because there's a lot of probiotics as well as fiber. And the GI tract holds about 80% of your immune system. So if you could improve gut function by having kimchi or other fermented foods, you can certainly improve, improve your immune function, right? It also decreases cholesterol because of the binding capacity of fiber. And then it's also anti-inflammatory because of things like capsaicin as well as um, uh, allicin, which is from garlic. So it has so many wide varieties, right? Even to this day, I have the pleasure of having kimchi every day because my wife actually makes it at home. She makes a, a variety of different kimchi that we eat throughout the year and we benefit and my kids benefit from eating kimchi on a daily basis. So if you've never tried it, I would suggest then going ahead and trying this. Um, in the old days, they used to make this in large batches. Uh, they call it kimjang, right? They used to have these big clay pots and bury it into the ground and they would make kimchi and put it in there. So in the winter time, uh, it won't freeze and in the summertime, it stays cool. So they had you know, large batches of kimchi made yearly that they can eat throughout the year, really. Um, but these days you could have um, refrigeration, so you can ferment it for maybe three to five days or seven days and then refrigerate it. Therefore, you can have the benefits of all the uh, flavors and uh, probiotics and all the health benefits of kimchi. So if you've never tried it, really go ahead and try it. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.